Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Wednesday the 23rd, and today was another day I was up, up, up way, way too damn early. Um, I think I woke up about 5 a.m., the dog wanted to go out, and then wanted to bug me some and that. Found out he'd knocked his cushions off the couch, so I had to get up and go fix them also, and just never got back to sleep after that. It was definitely um, kind of a crappy day that way. I've been not getting much sleep. I'm not sure what's going on. Something's twisted up in my head, and I cannot seem to get rid of it, and my sleep is way, way off. And it starts to really weigh on me for a while, and really starts to kind of slow down my day, but... Who knows? Um, I did have a um, friend come over. We hung out some this morning. They had a business meeting here in town. So we hung out in the morning before they went. Um, then when they, after they left, I got a bunch of crap done. I was out in the shop for a little bit. Um, had a few other things. I had that stupid um, Holt monitor on, my heart rate monitor still. And went ahead and decided to go for a run. Um, took off, I don't know, about 11.15 or so, 11.30, somewhere in there. Um, it started running. And it was funny because I was supposed to be out there at 1 p.m., to um, have the halt monitor taken off. And the lady, the nurse type lady that put it on, was just, I don't know, she's incompetent as all shit. So she went ahead and she was like, you don't have to be right here at one o'clock, just sometime you can't be here before one because I can't take it off till after that and blah, blah, whatever. So it's like, okay, no big deal. I took off running and I had my run mostly planned out, shipped me out to the hospital right about one o'clock or so to get the uh, monitor removed and ended up deciding to run an extra loop on the lower chunk, which was no big deal there, but I went ahead and ran the extra loop down there and also came across a couple um, ladies that had their dog there and it was right near the end of my mile I was trying to run to um, close out my 10 mile, or 10 um, training run I guess so I went ahead and just kind of sprinted on past them and then I got um, up to where I could stop my watch went ahead and stopped watch water the dog and that and they came around the corner finally and we ended up um, letting the dogs meet I said hey do you care at the meet and she's like at first she kind of like had turned the dog like down towards the res to like, get away from us and I was like do you care at the meet she goes oh no that's what I was wanting to do it's just the fact that I didn't think you wanted to she went around and I said I was just training so let the dogs uh, meet up there a little bit her dog wanted to play in rough house a little bit you could tell and she wasn't used to that kind of play and I just unhooked Bruce because I didn't want the leashes getting tangled up it was going to be a big pain in the buck so we're doing that weird spinning move so I just unhooked him let him play with each other a little bit so then hooked him bruce wanted to go pee on him i think it was kind of funny and her dog was trying to chase bruce around and stuff and it was pretty good so we talked for a while so that delayed me a few minutes there and then also i took the extra loop on the bottom res i was walking back to the vehicle so i was a little bit behind on taking out to the hospital so i went ahead i was in the car i was driving out there and it was like 10, it was 1 15 the woman had told me yesterday i'm gonna be right at one but i had to be close and at 1 15 she's like answers i answered the phone and she's just like this cunty bitch and she's like uh, did you forget to bring your monitor back today and i'm like um no it's 1 15 and i'm on the way out there you told me i had to be right at one well i've got somebody coming later today and blah blah and stuff and i'm like okay i said well i'm on my way and she hangs up on me didn't even like finish the sentence and i'm like you dumb bitch so i kind of chewed her butt a little bit when i got there and i'm like hey i said listen up i'm like you need to learn some bedside manner or phone manner because this is bullshit she's well i have some else coming out here they're going to be here at three and i'm like okay and that's fine they'll be here at three it's now one twenty seven, and i'm in the room you told me i couldn't be here before one you didn't say i had to be here before one thirty. i kind of crap you need to learn how to communicate better with people and she went to like pull off my um tape and crap and i'm like no no that's good i'll kick her out well we got i said no you have to get it off the pads are not reusable and stuff you just need your wire so i pulled the tape off that i had to put on extra and she just complained that i was sweaty and i'm like yeah i just got done at the run and you told me i couldn't shower because of the stupid thing so which i was like whatever i did shower anyway i didn't give a shit but um, I didn't after that because I was finishing up my run. But I went ahead and stuff. And she's like, "Well, here you got to use this rag to get that stuff off." I said, "No, I don't." I said, "I'll go home. I'll take care of myself in the shower." So she was just I don't know. She don't know how because well, I guess we'll see. I said, "You'll never see me again." I'm like, "I'm dealing with my own doctor, not with you," because. I'm not trusting anything that you do here. So I went ahead and said to hell with it. Finally took off, came back, got cleaned up and that. And then uh, my friend got done with their work uh, meeting and decided they want to go hang out again. So we actually went off um, back out to res. Just went for like a little walk. I didn't go running or nothing and stuff. Ended up out like a little picnic table on the upper res area. And it was funny because the guy pulls up on an ATV on the other side of the fence because you can't ride ATVs in the park there. And he brought his three dogs in. He had two young Labradors and an old Labrador. And he was training the young pups. And he was playing the whole like, swim you know lesson you throw the um the decoy out in the water they'd swim out and get it and come back up and the dog splashed us and sprayed us and rubbed against us all soaking wet so it wasn't necessarily the funnest thing but it was pretty cool watching the dogs play around so that was kind of interesting so went ahead and got that done came back home they headed off to back to their place it's i don't know hour drive or so back home for them so went ahead um just kind of hung out here had some other stuff in the shop to get taken care of i knocked that stuff out real quick 
Um, went ahead, I got to put some more, I hate finishing. I'm putting more coats of finishing on some benches and stuff. And it just, that's the one thing I always kind of think that I need to just hire somebody to do is just do all my finishing work for me. Cause I absolutely despise it. I don't even mind sanding and stuff, stuff so much. It's actually applying the paint or applying the finish that drives me crazy. I just absolutely have hated it my whole life. So, oh, well, you got to suck it up and do what you don't like sometimes and make some money. So went ahead and got that done. Um, also did here at the van, they had to order some parts, um, found out it's going to be $90 extra for one of the parts. So we're way up over the budget and then the extra time to put that part on is broke and so on and so forth. So I also found out to replace the air pump that was removed that's locked up. It's going to be like 450 bucks additional on top of that. So right now it sounds like they're not doing the air pump part. I'm going to probably actually go talk to them tomorrow and stop down by there and say, hey, since you're already in there, is it going to be less labor? Is it going to try to turn apart to replace the air pumps? It is. Just go ahead and put it in there while you're there and save me the extra labor. If not, if it's the same price later, I might hold off because it's getting near fall. I won't be needing the air conditioner for a while. And it seems like the belt works fine when I don't run the air conditioner. So there, there's a thing. But I think part of me is concerned. When I turn the defroster, I think it kicks the air conditioner on and it's going to make that belt squeal. So I'll probably just tell them to say fuck it and just fix it and just say, oh well. So who knows? Um, other than that, it's pretty much the same old thing. Uh, watch a little bit of Netflix, and now I'm going to basically try and wrap it up and call it a night. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.